everybody we're back I'm Donna and I'm Donna and we're here to talk about my adventure over the weekend yeah how was that it was wonderful I always like going to Mayberry doesn't yeah. matter um, if it's in Danville Indiana or if it's in Mount Airy so let me ask you about that okay okay so this weekend you went up north right Danville, it's about an hour and a half away. Just, just like what, west of Indianapolis? Yes. Yeah. And they hold Mayberry in the Midwest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And it's a lot of fun. I mean, yeah. everybody should go next year. I know people, they send me uh, text messages and say, well, thanks a lot for telling me, but um, I actually wasn't positive I was going, and mm -hmm. then um, my sister and my brother-in-law were here, and then we were off into the wild blue yonder. Yeah. Now, your sister and brother-in-law that were here is Debbie and Daryl, who used to own Mayberry on Main Street in Mount Airy, which yes. is Andy Griffith's hometown. Yes. So, they were here, and it was perfect because they didn't have to miss any, any of Mayberry. I know, and I think what was fun about that is instead of being in the store and selling, they got to participate, because oh, yeah. usually when I go down there, they're, they're in the store working, mm -hmm. and I always tell them I'm going to help them, <laughs> but I never do, because I end up running around because I get starstruck, and I want to see everybody. Mm -hmm. So they got to do that this time. Yes. Could you tell they enjoyed it? Oh, they did enjoy Wonderful. it. Wonderful. Plus, yeah. So. Well, so tell us about it. What um, you went up? What on so Friday? So it's Mayberry in the Midwest, and all these events right here um, went on. I tried to do as many as I could. Mm -hmm. um, I went up Friday night, and they had like a little meet and greet dinner, and it was really good. Okay, so is that like a paid event, or is it an invitation only kind of a thing? Or? No, you buy tickets to go. Okay, okay. Because I mean, you know, they need. Um, but you need to get your tickets early. Yeah, well, <laughs> I do think it, to, at the end it probably was sold out because it was, it was action-packed. All the tables looked full and everything. Yeah, so. awesome. And it was good. They do like little skits and stuff. And um, I don't know if that's what they call them, but um, it was just Meet the Mayberry um, Tribune Artist. Uh-huh. So there's a lot of them, too. Yeah. 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 So that's that's the funnest part, just watching them, you know, because Barney is really funny, and mm -hmm. the guy that plays Barney, he's, mm -hmm. I mean, Otis, I mean, they just know everything. <laughs> and before I forget to tell you, they, um, there was a band there, and it was the Grass Schools. Oh, okay. And they were really good, but um, they did something to where, um, you know, they know about Mayberry quite a bit, mm -hmm. and so um, they said that if anybody in the audience could stump one of the guys in the band with a question, oh, he would um, give them a free CD. Oh, yeah? And... Now, was this later on, or was this at the dinner? No, this was later on. Okay, okay. And I think it was Saturday night, yeah. Okay. And, um... So they were on stage. Okay, good deal. So then, it was funny because I just thought there's no way that uh -huh. they won't get stumped by some Somebody. of the people there. And they did. They gave away I, at least three CDs. Right? And I think they said, we're stopping now. <laughs> so it, it was one of the questions that was asked the band. They asked who gave Barney's dad a ticket. Well, hold on a minute. My husband's here and he loves it too, so we'll make him play along. Do you know, Mike? I've never heard his dad mention. It's a, I think it was his dad. It might not be, you know, I was having a lot of fun, yeah. so who knows. <laughs> but um, it was the sewer guy. That doesn't sound familiar to me at all. I know, so, yeah. I mean, there's like so much stuff. I mean, I can, get... I can play a little bit along, but I did the contest. I was oh, the did? one that had the answer, oh. and then they came up and they told me. Oh, okay. So I had a cheat sheet. Yeah. Okay. But my sister, 
she should have played, but she was like, oh, she that would be wrong, fair because I know. And she, I believe she got all of them right. Yeah. So she Well, was, they've been in, into this Mayberry thing for a long time now. Long time. Mm -hmm. Long time. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. So, anyway. So, um... Okay, so you meet the artist on Friday night, mm -hmm. and you actually have dinner with them? Um, yes. They're in her, you know, it's kind of like they had an auction, and so you go in, you just see them, you kind of like do all these selfies, you either, I mean, they're all very nice. They pose, they'll do whatever, mm -hmm. and then um, Floyd, he's got these little scissors, and he cuts people's hair, you know. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, it's it's just the whole thing is so Mayberry. I mean, it just is. There's nothing not Mayberry about it. Okay. So then... Um, and they hold this, what, in like a hotel conference? No, it was... Um, Cafe? It's like a... Um, more... It wasn't a school cafeteria, okay. but it was... I don't think there was a golf like a community, course. Yeah, a community, community center, building or I think something. it was. Yeah, okay. I probably could look and see, but um, we don't want this to be eight hours yeah. long. No, that's so okay. Don't ask inside. me some questions <laughs> I don't know for sure. But, um, yes, it was very nice. It was put on wonderful. So, and it was at Hendrix County City 4-H Complex. Okay. Time. Right. There you go. Yes. Now, I do have another question about that. So, okay. we're at this dinner. So, who are, I know there's not very many left from the show, but who would we know from the show? Well, actually, probably they're no one. They're all the tribute artists. Okay. So, the Charlene person, Charlene Darling, was not oh, there. Oh yes, at the she was there. Of course, yeah, I can't yeah. believe one of my favorites. And, and what's her um, name? Her real name? Her, Charlene Darling. Yes, and I'm gonna say it absolutely right. Maggie Mancuso. <laughs> okay. Well, and, that's awesome. And she was Charlene Darling. I know all this, but I get nervous when, because I don't want to say anything wrong. Right. I say they because right. I just adore them, and I'm always starstruck. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, and this is the um, the Republican, Mayberry and the Midwest Event Guide. So, you know, if I'm talking, I'm talking out of this, so they get their credit. See? Woo. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, and it says, Maggie... Um, as Charlene Darling, do y'all remember her? Mm -hmm. I mean, do you remember Mike, her? And, um, so the Andy Griffith Show appearing in five episodes with her mountain family. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I just adored it because she just did such a great, I mean, who doesn't adore yeah. it? But, um, Maggie has grace Mayberry in the Midwest since it began. Oh, okay. See her perform at the meet and greet. Great, Watch yeah. for her in the parade, and don't be surprised if you see her join some of the bluegrass bands for a rendition of Salty Dog. Mm -hmm. and, Honey, and we did. Your salty Dog. <laughs> yep, that's it. Yep. That's it. So, yeah, she was there, and, um... And then, um, okay, like, there's another, um... Well, see, like the ones that were in the show is really the ones that, um, but I mean, there's like side people, like right. George Lindsay, he mm -hmm. was in the show, and he's passed away. And he was? Goober. Yeah. And, <laughs> um, he, his son appeared there, he okay. came, and he does like a look, he talks, he's about his dad just a little bit, but he does comedy and he plays, you know, guitar. Mm -hmm. and, and does he play the part of Goober? No, the Tribune artist oh, okay. plays the part. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So, he talks about mm -hmm. his dad some, but 
I mean, of course, he says, Goober says, hey, like right. the Beanie songs and stuff. So, right, right. Yeah, I mean, he wears the beanie hat some, and mm -hmm. so he does sometimes, yeah. but really the tribute artist is the one that's in there. Okay, and then there's another tribute artist that actually is related to Andy. Okay. She wasn't in the show. I mean, I'm sure she might have been in, like, who knows. Like right. Maybe in a, yeah. but never, you know, mentioned. Right. You know, and they say she wasn't. We thought maybe there's this one scene where there's a bunch of little kids in a swimming pool. And I thought, well, maybe it's her. So, but no one's ever said it was. Oh, so I okay. just left it go. Okay. And uh, my sister, I think, did ask her, is this you, is this you? <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see. But anyway, she played one of the fun girls. And, and it's Andy's daughter. Okay. Dixie. It's, yes. Okay, sorry. And then her name is Dixie. She wears the yellow dress on all those pictures that you see posted. And then another girl, Michelle Bryson, she plays um, Daphne. So it's... Um, so, again, the Republican, I'm going to read you what's on there. But, um, the fun girls, nobody has more fun at Mayberry in the Midwest than Daphne and Skippy, also known as the fun girls. Long time, which last year I got to play fun yeah. girls. Unfortunately, um, Dixie was, couldn't make it. To Mount Airy. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, nobody's business. So, anyway, I did it. Of course, I didn't do it as well as her but I had so much fun it didn't matter so um nobody has more fun Mayberry in the Midwest than Daphne and Skippy also known as the fun girls longtime Mayberry fan Michelle Bryson is the outgoing to say the least which she is she's got a lot of energy mm -hmm. like she because really it's a long day yeah. for them I mean they get <laughs> up me. then they go they do like the parade then they walk around, plus they kiss everybody on the cheek, mm -hmm. you know. I think and I saw Daryl have a really he <laughs> He had a smudge by the time I got around to take a picture of him. He done, he's like, oh, I ain't put one on. <laughs> so, but, um, and then she's joined by her associate, Skippy, which is Dixie. And if you want to find the fun girls, just follow the men with the lipstick prints <laughs> on their cheeks. Yeah. And they did a lot of kissing. So, oh, that's Because, you know, through the mm -hmm. whole day you're walking, you see where they left their mark, you that's know, funny. running around. So it was really good. And then we have Terry Varvel. Um, he's Barney Five. Mm -hmm. And um, Hendrix County native. So... You know, in this area, there's certain ones that play, and then when you go to Mount Airy, there's someone else. Right. Maybe. Okay. Okay. What was that? A uh, like? Because all the no, all the all the, all the wind chimes. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. But I think it's okay. I think. I began doing impressions as a child, and Barney Five became a favorite of mine. He said, "This is Terry's third year paying tribute to." Barney at Mayberry in the Midwest. He promises that law enforcement and phone will be on high alert. So that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And then we have, you know, there's Aunt B. Everybody remembers Aunt B. Her name's Jeanette. Mm -hmm. And um, a contest, a costume, and some homemade cookies helped Jeanette win the role of Aunt B for the first Mayberry in the Midwest in Aww. 2014. Yeah. Her personality won the hearts of her fellow tribute artists and and the Andy Griffith Show fans. She still keeps some packages of cookies in her purse, just in <laughs> case. That's awesome. Someone might need a little snack from Aunt B. And then Alan, I think, you know, like I don't know all the, you know, like when you go, they... I'm, they put a lot of work into everything. Sure. Mm -hmm. But when I get there, I don't know who does what. Right. Like who to get, you know, because they're just doing it and everybody's great. And they work together. I mean, you can't really tell who's, you know, controlling, who's, right. you know, just doing their thing. So, and hopefully I'll never know. Yeah. Because I just want to know them. Enjoy it, yeah. Yeah, enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then, um, so Alan Newsom is Floyd. 
And um, as Mayberry's favorite barber, Alan brings Floyd to life, a full-fledged tag span. He created a website, www.imayberry.com, and hosts a weekly podcast for fans, Two Chairs No Waiting. I signed up for that. I've, I've listened. I know. Mm -hmm. As Floyd Allen keeps his comb and scissors ready in jacket pocket to correct any flawed haircuts he sees, you might leave looking better than you arrived. Yeah. He check. didn't cut my hair, so he must have thought I looked okay. There you go. What you guys you can check the, um, check the description below, and I'll try to um, link what I see links to so you guys can go and see these people and Maybe. listen to the podcast, etc. Oh, when they were on stage for at the dinner, they sang the Mayberry like high school song. Oh yeah, I remember I know, that. Yeah, well, I mean I don't remember. You know the... when it's, but I mean everybody there knows the song just that's, like it's your high school song. That's great. It is. So it was good. And then we had Ernest T. Bass. He was um, the Tribune artist was Phil Lee. Um, this is the first year I've met him. So. Uh -huh. But it doesn't mean he hasn't done it forever. But Phil's appearing as the incorrigible. Are we going? Uh-huh. Okay. We're going. Incorrigible Ernest T. Bass in his second visit to Mayberry in the Midwest. Ernest T. takes this your favorite part. It uh, is. Yeah. Okay. Ernest T. takes pride in beginning the best rock thrower and most eligible bachelor in the mountains, but still calls Charlene his darling. His darling. Bill captures Ernest T's unpredictability and can croon, 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 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. while accompanying himself on the gas can. Mm -hmm. See, we have the same last name. It's me, it's me, it's Ernest T, it's me, it's me, it's Donna T. There you go. Uh -huh. And I did bring her a cap for Mount Airy, didn't I? You Ernest did. T. You did. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, and then we have Jeff Branch as Howard, Howard, um... Jeff Branch of Oakboro, North Carolina, appears as Howard, Mayberry's county clerk and most eligible bachelor, according to his mother. <laughs> Do you remember all that with the mom? And I don't remember that. Just, you don't? No. Um, Jeff first appeared as Howard at Mayberry Days in Mount Airy about 18 years ago. Wow. Some fans think he is so closely remembers Jack Dawson, who played Howard on the series, that he must be Dawson's son. Wow. I know, that's pretty cool. Uh-huh, it? it is. Yeah. I mean, look at, I mean, yeah. the picture, I know. You Continue. So anyway, Kenneth Junkin as Otis. Mm -hmm. We all know Otis, right? Right. Um, of Alabama has been portraying Otis Campbell for over 25 years. Wow. Otis is such a part of the Mayberry family. <laughs> He can lock himself up when he has a snoopful and sleep his way back to sobriety. <laughs> Kenneth Junkin says, being a Mayberry tribute artist, he enjoys bringing smiles to so many faces. That's awesome. And he does. Yeah? I mean, yes, because Be people... Just hear. Oh, oh. <laughs> people that um, love the show... I mean, they say the phrases, and I just, mm -hmm. I am in, so impressed with them. It's just so much fun. Then we have Eric Lowry. Mm -hmm. Lowry. Mayor, Mayor Pike. Mayor Pike. Mm -hmm. um, Eric Lowry of Greenwood. Portrays Indiana. Indiana, 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 Indiana. A row he has enjoyed since 2017. I love working with this. With the other tribute artists, he explains it's humbling to be able to bring a small part of Mayberry of people's lives. Since it's municipal. municipal election year, Mayor Pike may be asking for your vote, so be prepared. And so when he's in the parade, you know, like he'll be talking and he'll say, I'll have to go to my voters. I mean, it's just, yeah. you know, Mayberry. Yeah. And then we have 10... Pettigrew is Gomer Pyle. So, a retired mechanic Goober. from... Yeah, that's why I said You said Gomer. I meant to say Goober. 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 I knew it. I was reading it, and it just <laughs> jumped out. Because, you know, it's Goober Pyle. Right. Now I know. Your you cousins. Know? Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, a retired mechanic from Edinburgh, Ohio, 
Tim Pettigrew has been portraying Mayberry mechanic Goober Pop yeah. for over 15 years. Tim got his start at Mayberry Days in Mount Airy, North Carolina, when he noticed there wasn't a tribute artist for Goober. The next year, he put together a costume and has been taking off. And he That's is awesome. Judy Judy. You know. Judy Judy. And the, he can, you know, he just <laughs> does it. I mean, it's wonderful. So it is like it is like these people just stepped right out of the TV into out of time into yeah real I mean, reality. It, when you're there, it, I don't know for me when I'm there. Mm -hmm. I can't say everyone else in the world, but it's so relaxing, mm -hmm. and it's not even. I mean, it's just fun, you know. Right. It's mm -hmm. family fun. Yeah. Family fun. Yeah. That's that's super. Okay. Then we have Michael Oliver as Gomer Pyle, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, he's from North Carolina, has been portraying Gomer Pyle, one of the Mayberry's most endearing characters, for five years. Oh, okay. Like Gomer, Michael enjoys meeting people and bringing a smile to their faces. And when he does the... When he stands and <laughs> sticks his neck, yes. I, it's like, oh. But look at that. Look at that smile. It I know. Like perfect. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. He's, um, yeah. you know. I it, do. It just yeah. is. And then he also enjoys working with the fellow tribute artists as they make new Mary, Mayberry memories for the many fans. Mm -hmm. That's, that is so cool. And then, Thank I you. tell you, I got to sit by Charlene Darling. Yes. And she is... Um, we have a would-be here. <laughs> We're hoping. Not a wannabe, a would-be, literally. <laughs> would-be. I know. Uh. But anyway. Um, so, Maggie played Charlene Darling on the Andy Griffith mm -hmm. Show, appearing in five episodes with her mountain family. Seems like she appeared in a bunch because we watch it. Over and over. And then yeah. each time you watch it, you see something fantastic right. or better. You know, it just works mm -hmm. out so good. Maggie has Grace Mayberry in the Midwest since it began. She see her perform on the meet and greet, watch for her in the parade, and don't be surprised if you see her join some of the bluegrass bands for Honey, let me be your salty dog. <laughs> I can't sing. So I can't either. <laughs> I'd be like right up in it. And then I already told you about the fun girls. Mm -hmm. I already read that, so I'm not going to read it again. I know y'all don't need me to read to you. And then we got Briscoe Darling, and this man. That's, that's his real name? No, his real name's Bob Mundy. Oh, <laughs> okay. Never mind. Confused. <laughs> so, um, of Indianapolis has portrayed the patriarch of the Darling family okay. since Mayberry and the Men West began in 2014. Wow. This year, Bob will be taking a break and not performing as Briscoe. But he was the Grand Marshal of oh, the parade. Oh, okay, okay. And, I mean, you know, it's like, yeah. it was very touching because, you know, he's done it for so long. Right. And then he's just taking a break. I mean, uh -huh. you know, that's what happens. Yeah. We yeah. sometimes yeah. got to take a break. Okay. And, um, so, because you, you got to think. They do Mount Airy. They do somewhere else that I can't think of the name of right now. Was, I was they ask do that. Uh, Mayberry Cruise. Oh, they do. Yes. <gasps> and when did, normally does that happen? What time of year? I think it's June. Oh my! And then, um, and then they do Mount Airy. They do, and mm -hmm. then I'm sure they do other stuff. And like Otis, you know, that plays Otis, mm -hmm. he, I mean, I know a little bit more for some reason about him, but he plays like Santa Claus through the year. Oh, so that's really nice. You know? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, he is the real Santa Claus, I'm sorry. There, yes, <laughs> there you go, there you go. So anyway, but anyway, um, Bob, it was great because at the, at the dinner, they gave, um, you know, him being the Grand Marshal and everything, mm -hmm. they gave him a book, and it was pictures of all, you know, who wouldn't want that book? Right, I right. mean, I would want it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, of them, 
playing, you know, uh -huh. all this stuff. That's cool. So I'm sure That's there cool. are memories in him going through it. I mean, I'd be a <laughs> blubbering baby, but, you know. And then there was some, you know, other people there, too. Sure. Um, oh, yeah, like um, in the, like, other shows, like, for example, the Gomer Pyle show was a spinoff. Yes, so we had someone there being sergeant. I saw that in the parade clip. And so... Sergeant those, Carter. Yes. And move then, it, move it, move it. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. And then and they did this, you know, after the parade and stuff, they did like their little skits and stuff. Mm -hmm. We had um, Sergeant Carter, and then we had um, Norm Schultz. He also was on Blue Blood. Yeah, yeah. So That's and he's cool. he's a funny guy, but he d did. Um, there's like a paint a painting person. Uh -huh in the show so he was painting people okay and then um you know selling a bunch of newton stuff yeah <laughs> so it's yeah i mean it was and then That's you know cool. they had a and um, ronnie shell he was wasn't he like friends with ronnie Gomer? shell oh yes he was he was uh Duke ronnie Slater shell yes he was on Duke the Slater. gomer Pyle show and, and he still is comes I have been fortunate enough, and I'll say it, um, to be around him because, like, you know, a dinner, I just bust up in everything because of my <laughs> sister and my brother-in-law because mm -hmm. they're so, so they've welcomed me, so I kind of get to slide in where, you know, other people don't, not, I think. Yeah. Well, they just don't know where they are, and I'm right. like, secret agent, man. And then Jeff, <laughs> um... Jeff that kind of helped put stuff on. There's mm -hmm. Krista. You know, she, you know, they planned this forever. But anyway, because um, they have me tell me where they're staying, so I stay at the same hotel. Oh, okay. You know, that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah. So then, okay, back to Ronnie. Um, Ronnie Shell, And I'm reading this because he is a comedy legend yeah I mean and he is so interesting and you know I could listen to stories and stories and stories and stories because just think he knows everybody mm -hmm. Rock Hudson you know I mean who was the one that just passed away Doris Day and yes That's and awesome. um know the guy the comedy guy the comedian that just passed on the Carol Burnett show. Oh, Tim Conway. Yes. Oh. So, you know, I mean, he's... Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, we talked, you know, a little bit about stuff and... That is so cool. And there was, you know, there's like Mayberry books, mm -hmm. you know, so when flipping through, he's like, oh, yeah, I know them, or I know them, or... And That's it's really just... Cool. I could listen to him forever. Yeah. I mean, I need to, like, every morning get a cup of coffee and call Ronnie Shell and say, Did hey. you see that with me? <laughs> yes, I did. And say, hey, tell me about, you know. And, I mean, he's very, he's pleasant to me, and he doesn't say anything cruel about right. anyone. He right. just tells the story. Right. That's So, awesome. anyway, I'm reading this. Or you can. Um, Mayberry fans know Ronnie Shell from two guest appearances on the Andy Griffith Show. Oh, I didn't know he was on the actual show. Yes. Okay. As Duke Slater in the spinoff Gomer Pyle. He also appeared in over 30 television series and a number of feature films. Wow. These appearances and on career as a stand-up comedian, Ronnie has worked with many of the legendary laugh makers. On Saturday, May 18th at 2 p.m., Ronnie will start... Share memories of working some of our favorite comedy legends, including Andy Griffith, Don Rickles, see? Yeah. Jonathan Winters, Phyllis Dillon, wow. Joan Rivers, and a host of other Hollywood stars. He has worked with them. Oh, I mean, and many, cool. many, many, many more. Mm -hmm. And then his son, he usually comes, and he does, like, I think while he was there, his son was in Japan, and he does beautiful photographs. Oh. So, and he has a website. Does he? Yes. Okay. I we'll mean, look it Facebook up and... for sure, but he's okay. got, yeah, 
and beautiful. Well, and help he me tells it, stories and all okay. that stuff. So yeah, we'll get some material together and link it in this description under the video here. See, she's the she's the video girl. She's like, oh, so now I got it. <laughs> but I mean, no, I like doing I, that. I like I know, I love learning. She's very good at it. Mm -hmm. And then join Ronnie at the Crawley Business Center in the Hendricks County building and. So anyway, it was showing where it was. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, he signs autographs. And, you know, one of the the guy at the hotel, he's like, I'd really like this paper. You know, like somebody would grab this paper and have them sign all the oh, artists yeah. sign where the paper was. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, yeah. But you were too busy talking to them I know I don't, ever, on them. I don't know I mean I think that I probably irritate them enough by taking a thousand pictures <laughs> I mean you know they, they seem to love you though I mean they've all got I smiles mean, on their faces I mean they're Mayberry people right, right. I mean yes they do mm -hmm. I mean there's nobody mean I'm telling you it's like unreal well, that's so, awesome that's awesome. And then it talks about, hey, to Goober Jr. Uh -huh. So, George Lindsay will be participating in the meet and greet, and he did, and he played music, and the Mayberry Trivia Contest and games during activities on the square. That's so neat. So, anyway, um, so we're still on Friday night, kind of. <laughs> I've been jumping okay. around. Friday night, they had, like, a auction, so people donated some of their Mayberry stuff. Oh, Okay. So, um, I bid on and won. This is all points. We better get right on it. Let me see if I got my bullet. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hey, Mayberry, what do you I thought so I did ornament. pretty good. Yes, it is. Oh, but oh. I just le I set it around. Yeah. My sister awesome. had some of these and they're sitting around. So anyway, that's great. that's what I came away with. That's and great. My sister got me a shirt and it says, um I know you want to whistle. I know you want to whistle. So Aww. and they did Can have you whistle? No. <laughs> I can't either. So, and if I do, I'm doing it like this. But anyway. I'll probably cut that out. <laughs> no, you won't. You might put it on a blooper or something. But anyway, so Friday night, eat, auction, um, talking to people, then going back and, you know, just listening to them chit-chat. I mean, it was fun. Yeah. And then, um, plus, there was a lot of people surprised because... Uh, Deb and Daryl didn't know they were gone. Oh, okay. Because they were here because they got uh -huh. a grandbaby. They got a see yes. that's Aww. adorable. Aww. But, um, so it was family visit and then we took off. And all those people know Debbie and Daryl. Like, oh, like yes. Even though Debbie and Daryl aren't tribute artists, they've had the Mayberry shop. Because that's where they go in and get a rest, get something to yes. drink, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's Refresh, great. do I mean, yeah. So, so it all really is like family. It is like that's family. That's so cool. It is, it is. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, so then the parade, they did have a whistling contest. Yeah. And it's amazing because, I mean, how hard is that? Yeah. To yeah. whistle the whole song. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, they that's did. Cool. There was mm -hmm. a winner. I don't, didn't have the picture. I mean, I tried to run around to everything, but I'm telling you. There's so much. Yeah, yeah. And so I watched the show, which was great. You know, it's outside. And um, they did little skits and everything. Oh. Pickle. <laughs> you know what? I started I started to film that. Yes, the pickle. I saw that. I did. And I said, I'll come back. And I didn't. Because I could not take it. Yeah. I mean, they was because they was eating them pickles. I mean, those eating, 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 eat, you know, like, mm -hmm. and I just. It really bothered you, huh? So I went on about my oh, way. There you go. 
And that's where, like, if you've seen any of my photographs, that's where I ended up getting me an ice cream. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I walked away and got me an ice cream. And that's then funny. Um, the trivia contest, I had the answers, and uh, they come up, and, you know, they talk, and... My um, sister knew this Matt Hurley person, and um, he had sent, Deb got the baby a little shirt, Mayberry shirt uh -huh. and all that stuff, I think that's how it goes. And, you know, he goes, I'll tell your sister, you know, I love the, the baby and the shirt and all that stuff. Well, we seen him there, and he oh. was surprised to yeah. see Deb and Daryl. But, um... Anyway, he won the contest, the he trivia did? contest. Oh, good. Yes. Yeah. So, That's awesome. Um, so there's pictures on there of him winning, you know, he got a trophy and all that. Um, I did see the Hold Down Ex Express Cloggers. I put them on there. Yeah, I saw some and of that. And then uh, Ronnie Shell, he did his show. Um, the squad, squad car nationals. Oh, there were, I saw uh, several of those cars, but I think in the parade. What's the national? What is that? It just they just like they judged them. Well, no, they do like a little. Um, they race roundabout thing. Well, they race like get out, cut the pickle, eat it. You know. Oh. You know what I mean? Okay. Jump back in the car, that's and then funny. whoever does that the fastest. Okay, that's great. And then How the many cars total do you think there were? Um, I think there was maybe six cars. Really? I see mm -hmm. that ice cream. It, <laughs> to get I your mean, brain freeze. Really, the ice cream did me in because, yeah. um, you know, ordered yeah. it, sat there, ate it. You know. Then the Blue Mafia Bluegrass Band, they... They played before the grass goals. Okay. It sounds like a ball. Mm -hmm. It was a ball. Mm -hmm. So did anything go on Sunday? Well, um, Sunday, you know, I wasn't there. Sunday. Oh, no, I thought you were. Oh. No, we ended up leaving. Uh -huh. um, we needed to get back. But, um, but do they have activities on Sunday? Oh, yeah. Yeah? What are they? Like, um, Sunday they had, um, there's vendor booths there too. Uh -huh. And then they're still, I mean, the, the Tribune artists, they're running around. I mean, they're always They really doing, work it, yeah. Yes, they're mm -hmm. always doing something. So, um, there was an Opie contest where the little kids looked like Opie and then the That's parade, cool. of course. And then, uh, some of the dancers and then, um... There was two, two or three tractors in the parade, mm -hmm. okay. and um, oh, now I could have watched this a donut eating contest. <laughs> the pickles I could do, yeah. and then uh, Dixie had a question answer. Oh, cool! And then Blue Town Bluegrass Band, cause you know it's outside, uh -huh. so there's a lot of stuff. Right. And then um, the Mayberry Cafe is there too. Like, you okay. go in the, you know, the TV's on. It's Andy Griffith. Oh, you okay. Know, yeah. And all that, but I mean, it's just um, at, watching the show, being down there, and then like, it's Mayberry. Yeah. That's so, so I mean, what do you do in Mayberry? You walk around, you talk to people, you watch them uh -huh. laugh, and, mm -hmm. you know, the squad cars, and the, yeah. I mean, just all of it. Yeah. That's it's just so cool. So, Mayberry in the Midwest has been going on, I think it's said in there, five years? Maybe. Probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> if you would like to see any of these, you've got a choice. You can go to Mount Airy, which is Andy Griffith's hometown, and they have the big... North Carolina. Yeah. They have a big uh, Mayberry Festival, and that's in September. Yes. And then also the cruise is coming up. So yeah. You don't, yeah. I mean, I'm sure you can just Google that anywhere. Yeah, but I can I can look for that, too. Yeah. I'll try to link everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So. Be, I mean, um, it would be kind of neat to And plan. then Mayberry Bible Study. Do you know people do Mayberry Bible Studies? No. Yeah, because, okay, Brown's 
uh, Borough motivational speaker Steve Peppall, mm -hmm. is what they call him, and uh, will host a Mayberry Bible study service on Sunday. Come to the free stage on Marion Street, south side of the square, and enjoy the entertaining special program. Well, so we'll have that's to look neat. him up. Yeah. Well, I know. I mean, this is like before I was even going to all the events and everything. There, um, someone in um, Martinsville, Indiana. Okay. They, um, it was one of the nurses that I worked with. And I said, so what are you doing tonight? And she goes, we're doing a Mayberry Bible study. And I thought it was the funniest thing. <laughs> because I didn't believe her. Yeah. You know, when yeah. she said oh, it. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yes. I mean, really, if you think about it, just how great is Mayberry and the lessons, right. you know, Opie was taught. And right, right. Barney, too. And, yeah. I mean, all of them. Yes, yes. You know, the people that, the people uh, that, you know, came through Mayberry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, what it just hit me was... Um, Couple of couple of episodes back, we did um, we did an episode about Jay Shetty and how he wanted to spread wisdom rather than entertainment. Oh yeah, this fits right in because every episode was funny, but it always had some wisdom. Uh, w whether it was, you know, for Opie or for Barney or for Andy, even mm -hmm. there was always wisdom. I know. So that fits right in with our little theme, and we didn't even know it. Well, and... Um, We're finding ourselves. <laughs> I know. And then it's kind of like me, the way that I am, because I kind of just mosey right into everything. And um, I can't remember who said it, but I think it was, um, you know, because Ronnie Shell mm -hmm. and then um, Maggie, I mean, they were... They yeah. know everybody. They were there. And yes. they, you know, they've been through everything with them. Like, you know, there's so much stuff. The real so, people as well as these tribute artists. Yes. Yes. And um, one of the songs that they play is just from, you know, they were backstage, um, The Darling, mm -hmm. I think it was. And, you know, they were playing this and Andy said, well, what is that? And... Um, he said, oh, we're just picking around, and then they put it on the show, and they gave it a name. Aw. Because it was so good. Yeah, you know? yeah. So. You know what I saw the other day, and I don't think I've ever seen it before? If I, Well, if I've seen it, I never paid attention to it. I saw Andy Griffith smoke a cigarette in in the jailhouse. Really? I did, and I, I mean, was like, oh, Okay, my. well, one of the girls, she before. had a book, you know, oh. it was Mayberry Memories, <clears throat> and... What no, she had a photograph that she had someone to uh -huh. sign. Uh -huh. She wanted Maggie to sign it. I was sitting there because you know I try and sit right by him all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I sat in there. So she brings the photograph. It might be vice versa, I'm not for sure. She has a photograph and there's a book. It's the exact same picture and in the picture. He's got a cigarette and another, in the book, he doesn't have a cigarette. So they photoshopped it. Yes. <laughs> and I'm telling you, try and do some Mayberry stuff. Watch our vlog, mm -hmm. and then we'll tell you kind of what's going on. If you want to go to the cruise, maybe call me. I'll go to the cruise with you. Because I don't, I travel alone. That's awesome. Most of the time. Mm -hmm. So I'm Donna. And I'm Donna. And, um... Just remember a few things. Well, this is all points. We better get right on it. Let me see if I got my bullet. <laughs> what he said. <laughs> Here at The Rock, we have two basic rules. The first rule is obey all rules. And my rule is watch the D&D &D show, Donna and Donna. What she said. And y'all have a great night. Bye. Bye. <laughs>